Hey guys, today let's look at the problem of finding out the median of two sorted arrays. So the problem statement is, given two sorted arrays A and B, each of size N, how can you find the median of the array obtained by merging these two arrays? So for example, if array A is this array and array B is this array, then the array which is obtained by merging these two arrays and sorting that merged array will be this array. I call this array sorted A plus B array. Now finding median for this array is trivial. We just need to take the average of the elements placed at index n minus 1 and n where n is given size for individual arrays A and B. Now why are we using elements at index n minus 1 and n? Because elements at these indices are placed exactly in the middle of this sorted A plus B array. Now for this sorted A plus B array element at index n minus 1 that is 4 is 10 and element at index n that is 5 is 11 right therefore the median would be 10 plus 11 by 2 that would be 10.5 now one of the ways to solve this problem could be use the merge method of merge sort to obtain this sorted a plus b array from given arrays a and b and once this sorted a plus b array is obtained just return the average of the elements placed at index n minus 1 and n. The time complexity for this approach would be order of n because the merge method of merge sort would take order of n time, right? But we can do better than this. Let's see how can we do that. Let's start from a simple example of n is equal to 2. That is size of array a will be 2 and size of array b will also be 2. Let's try to see how our sorted a plus b array will look like. So note that first element for this array will be chosen from this pair and last element for this array will be chosen from this pair, right? More precisely, first element will be minimum of a1, b1, right? And last element would be maximum of a2, b2. So our sorted a plus b array will look something like this. The first element is minimum of this pair a1, b1 and the last element is maximum of this pair a2 comma b2 now what about these two positions these two positions would be filled by elements which are not used in first and last places right therefore these elements would be max of a1 comma b1 because minimum is already used and min of a2 comma b2 because maximum is already used so our sorted a plus b array will look like this note that this set notation denotes the fact that these two elements need not be in the same order that is shown here. This element can be placed before this element or the order can be the same as shown here. Now if this is how our sorted a plus b array is going to look like then we know that the median of this array will be simply the average of these two elements right. So the median will be max of a1 comma b1 plus min of a2 comma b2 divided by 2. Let's see what happens if n is greater than 2. I am taking arrays of size 5 but this explanation can be easily extended for any value of n. Here I am denoting median of array a by m1 and median of array b by m2. So if n is greater than 2 and m1 is equal to m2, let's see how our sorted a plus b array will look like. In this sorted a plus b array, m1 and m2 will be placed adjacent to each other and because a1, a2, b1, b2 are originally smaller than m1, m2 these will be placed to the left side of m1, m2 and a4, a5, b4, b5 will be placed to the right side of m1, m2 I am again using this set notation to denote the fact that these elements need not be in the same order that is shown here if this is how our sorted a plus b array is going to look like then we know that median will be m1 or m2 because m1 is equal to m2. So if n is greater than 2 and m1 is equal to m2, our median is m1 or m2. And in the previous slide, what we have seen is, if n is equal to 2, then we have to simply return the maximum of a1, b1 plus minimum of a2, b2 by 2 as the median. Now let's see what happens if n is greater than 2 and m1 is not equal to m2. So n is still greater than 2 but m1 is not equal to m2. Let's see the first case when m1 is less than m2. Let's again try to imagine how our sorted a plus b array will look like. So we know for sure that m1 is less than m2. 
so I have placed m1 before m2 and there could be some elements placed in between m1 and m2. Another thing that I know is a1 and a2 are less than m1 so I have placed a1 and a2 to the left side of m1 and I also know that b4 and b5 are greater than m2 so I have placed b4 and b5 to the right side of m2. Now in this set there could be some elements from b for example I know for sure that b1 and b2 are less than m2 but I don't know if they are greater than or less than m1. So b1 and b2 either could be placed here or they could be placed here right. Similarly I know for sure that a4 and a5 are greater than m1. So a4 and a5 could be either placed here because they are greater than m1 or they could be placed here right. Now notice that size of this set that is a1 a2 and some elements from b cannot exceed 4 because even if both elements b1 and b2 are placed here maximum size this set could get is 4 and same is the case for this set even if both elements a4 and a5 are placed here the size of this set cannot exceed 4 so max size is 4 max size is 4 right now this is the case when n is equal to 5 you can verify for yourself that for any given value of n these two sets cannot have size more than n minus 1 since the maximum size of this set is n minus 1 in the indexing scheme which starts from 0 the last element of this set cannot have index greater than n minus 2 right and for this set again we know that maximum size for this set cannot be greater than n minus 1 the first element of this set cannot have index smaller than n plus 1 right and to find out the median we are interested in finding out the elements placed at index n minus 1 and n and as we have seen the last element of this set cannot have index greater than n minus 2 and first element of this set cannot have index smaller than n plus 1. So what we know for sure is we don't need to search for our median in these two sets. So we can narrow down our search for median elements to this set only. So the idea that we are going to use for narrowing down our search is very similar to binary search algorithm. Say we had started our search for median elements from start index A and end index A, comma start index B and end index B, right? Now if we find out that m1 is less than m2 if m1 is less than m2 then what we know for sure is we don't need to look for our median in this set and in this set right and we also know that in this set a1 and a2 are there for sure and in this set b4 and b5 are there for sure so i can remove this portion which is placed to the left side of m1 from consideration and i can remove this portion which is placed to the right side of m2 from consideration so for that all I need to do is modify this start index. So I add one start index A to M1 and I modify end index B to M2 right. So these modifications of start and end indices will be more clear once we look into the code. So for now what we know is if N is greater than 2 and M1 is less than M2 then we can remove the left portion of M1 and right portion of M2 from the search. In short, we can start looking for median by discarding a1, a2, b4, b5, right? We can use the very similar approach if m2 is less than m1. So if m2 is less than m1, our sorted a plus b array will look like this. Since m2 is less than m1, m2 is placed to the left side of m1 and we know for sure is b1 and b2 will be placed to the left side of m2 and a4 and a5 will be placed to the right side of m1. Again using very similar logic, size of this set cannot exceed 4 and size of this set cannot exceed 4 or for any value of n, the size of this set cannot exceed n minus 1 and size of this set again cannot exceed n minus 1. We can remove these two sets from consideration while searching for median and for that what we do is discard b1 and b2 and a4 and a5 from the search. So we can implement this logic of discarding b1, b2 and a4, a5 by basically removing the left portion of m2 and right portion of m1. For that again we need to modify the start index and end index. 
so let's say we had started our search of median elements from start index a and end index a comma start index b and end index b right and if we find out that m2 is less than m1 then we are ready to discard left portion of m2 that is this so for discarding this portion what we do is we modify start index of b to m2 and for discarding this portion which is placed to the right side of m1 what we do is we modify the end index of a to m1 right now we keep on searching for median elements in these narrowed down arrays by using this logic if m1 is less than m2 we discard left portion of m1 and right portion of m2 and if m2 is less than m1 we discard the left portion of m2 and right portion of m1 we keep on doing this recursive search until we hit base cases in the previous two slides we have discussed the base cases let's go over the base cases again so the first base case is if n is equal to 2 then median would be this and second base case is if n is greater than 2 but m1 is equal to m2 then our median is m1 or m2 right so using the ideas from these two base cases and this recursive approach now let's look at the code so this subroutine find median sorted arrays returns the median for these two sorted arrays a and b so it takes arguments as these two arrays it also takes arguments as start index of a end index of a start index of b end index of b so this if block is our first base case that is if n is equal to 2 then the difference between end index of a and start index of a would be 1 and same would be the case for end index of b and start index of b so if n is equal to 2 then we know that median would be this value so if this is not true what we do is we compute median 2 and median 1 so this is median for array b median for array b and median for array a and if m2 is equal to m1 we either return m2 or m1 so this is basically our second base case right now if both of these two cases are not true then we need to compare the m1 and m2 and accordingly we need to narrow down our search so as we have seen if m1 is less than m2 then we need to discard the left portion of m1 and right portion of m2 so for example for these two given arrays a is 1 2 5 11 15 and b is 3 4 13 17 18 m1 would be 5 m2 would be 13 in the first call so we'll discard left portion of m1 and right portion of m2 how can we do that we modify the start index of a to m1 so start index of a is modified to m1 index and n index of b is modified to m2 index that would be 13 if this is not the case then we know that m2 is less than m1 then what we do is we discard the left portion of m2 and right portion of m1 for doing that we again modify the start and end indices but in this case we modify the start index of b and end index of a and once we modify these start and end indices we make a recursive call with these modified indices the time complexity for this code would be order of log n i hope the explanation was clear thank you